What's going on guys, Mr. Grails here back with another video and in today's video we're going to be counting down the top 5 best Jordan 1s of all time. But before we start this video off please leave a like, a comment and also subscribe and if you do like these type of videos I've got a whole catalogue of these videos on my channel and without further ado let's get into this. And just before we start this is my personal opinion, obviously if you don't like the type of shoes then, then that's your problem but um, also in this video I'm not going to be putting in like any like boring like colourways like obviously I know like the breads are very um like like high up in people's list but in my personal opinion i just think that's a boring colorway so yeah with that being said let's get into this so coming in at the number five spot we have the jordan ones spider-man edition so this shoe was created to promote the animated spider-man movie that was released a couple years ago and this shoe is basically like the jordan chicago's i think the only difference in this shoe is like the sole and also like the tongue is like blue and there's this one difference that actually made me put the shoe on the list and that difference is it's got these tiny little spots um, all over the shoe that sort of blend in with the actual red like it's very subtle but like once you notice it it just sort of like just stands out the reason why I like this is because in the actual movie like the way it's animated it's got these spots like in that animation and like it's just a cool way to like tie the movie with the actual shoe the retail for these shoes was 160 and like the resale is like between like 400 and 600 so yeah not too too bad but uh, yeah that's going to be it for the number five spot coming in and the number four spot we had the jordan one hyper blue and i can't even lie to you like i rate the blue on this differently like the way it sort of looks like worn out and just like like a bit of wear and tear like i like i don't know it just looks sick i believe these was released in 2021 so pretty new and the resale for the shoe is around like 400 so not too too bad um but to be fair like as they're so new i reckon they're gonna go up in value and i can't even lie to you like these are probably my personal favorite jordan ones like like the blue just slaps differently like the blue isn't just like one color like it's just sort of got like a patchy white to it and i don't know i just fucks with it so that's going to be it for the number four spot coming in at the number three spot we have the travis scott jordan ones and so far we've only got two colorways of this shoe there is a brown one and there is like a bluey sort of white one and i'm sorry yeah but if you rate the blue and white ones over the brown ones like you must be smoking charcoal or something like i can't even lie like the blue and white ones are like they're decent but i don't know like the brown ones just slap differently like i don't know like the brown that they actually use for this just psh, crazy like just so clean and probably my favorite thing about this whole shoe is like the way it's got the backwards nike tick like that is so fucking creative like yeah like i rate that fully and yeah like i don't think like that sort of concept has like been done where like the tick is just like backwards like yeah i rate that but yeah, I hope we do get more colorways of this shoe, like, because, you know, I do rate this shoe a lot. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for the Travis Scott Jordans. Uh, moving on to number two spot. So coming in at the number two, we have the Off-White Jordans. And I'm sorry, yeah, but it wouldn't be a Jordans one list without putting these shoes in it. I believe this shoe comes in like three different colorways. So we've got like a white one, uh, we have a red, and then we have a blue one. And I think the newest one is like a yellow one. But I think the yellow ones are like mad rare. And in my personal opinion, I do rate the blue ones over all of the other colorways. Like the blue that they use for it, fucking crazy. Like, you know, it's just, yeah, just straight up gas. And like what I like about the shoe is like, it's got so many like off-white touches. Like it just, yeah, it's just sick. Like the way it's got the red zip tie, bad boy. The way it's got like the quotation marks, fucking sick. And like, yeah, I just feel like it just sets it apart from like all other Jordans. Like obviously it's just got so many unique touches to it. And I do feel like it does represent like both brands. Like, Jordans and off-white and also a small detail that I do love about the shoe is like on the Nike tick um, it's got like stitching so it's not actually like plastered on the actual shoe it's just got like the stitching on the Nike tick I feel like that is such like a creative addition like obviously it wasn't needed but it is a cool touch regardless so yeah that's going to be it for the number two spot so coming in at the number one spot and you've probably already guessed it because this shoe is just iconic at this point but the shoe that i'm talking about is the dior jordan ones and when you talk about grails yeah like this is a full-on grail of a shoe like i'm sorry yeah but when it comes to shoes yeah like it doesn't get better than this like i can't even explain like how iconic this shoe is like i'm not even joking like like i think it come out like a year or two ago and it's and it's solidified as an iconic shoe like even before these was released like it was just so like hyped as well like obviously you've got jordan you know bad boy and then you've got dior like just a mad a mad high-end uh, designer brand and to be fair it probably won the award for like shoe of the year and i wouldn't be surprised if it was like the shoe of the century and like, i'm trying to think now but like there is no shoe that comes to mind that actually challenges this shoe and like not only was it like a good collaboration for both brands but like the shoe was actually high like i'm not even joking like the shoe was just flames like the colorway that they used for it bad boy fucking the material was probably like a 
design Dior fucking special material or something. But the one thing that stands out the most is the tick. Like, oh my days, like that is actually so creative. Like having the Dior like print in the actual Nike tick. Like, I'm sorry, yeah, but that is such a flex and a half. And like, that is what like a collaboration should be. Like, you know, just, just both sides of the brands coming together. And also what I like is the sole of the shoe. Like it's got a different sort of um, color to like the sole. And actually underneath the sole, it's got a uh, Dior just, just written on, on it. Yeah, just an all round crazy shoe and i'll tell you what else is crazy the price tag for this shoe so the retail was 2000 which is already fucking expensive and the resale for this shoe is like 20000 so yeah like good luck buying this shoe because you're fucking not mate but yeah that's gonna be it for the number one spot obviously jordan you know best shoe of the century in my personal opinion but yeah if you've got any other ideas uh just put them in the comment section below and uh yeah i most likely will do that but um yeah until next time i'm out